Welcome back to Vikings Huddle. Now let's meet up with Stefan Diggs over at the Science Museum of Minnesota for this week's Skull Science Lesson. Welcome to the Science Museum. My name is Melanie. This is Vikings wide receiver Stefan Diggs, who has just asked me to keep him from dying. So I'm gonna have to make some last minute changes to what I was planning to do. Uh, so let's start off, this is Fire Triangle, so we should probably start off with a little bit of fire. Let's just, uh... cool, right? Yay, thanks so much, have a great day. No, I'm just kidding, there's more. Um, but as you have seen, there is gonna be real fire in this show, so we do want to keep Stefan and all of you very careful. We call the show Fire Triangle because there are how many things we need to make a fire happen? Boom, three, yes, absolutely right. We are three things, well done. The first thing we need is energy in the form of heat. Now, how many of you guys have seen in a movie, maybe with a start of fire by like rubbing a couple sticks together, yeah, or like shining light on, through a magnifying glass on dead leaves? Those things do work in real life, but they take a really long time. So we're gonna take the easy way out and just use these safety lighters. All right, the next thing we need is oxygen. Do we have oxygen in here? I think so. I think so. Can you do me a favor, breathe in and out. Do it really fast. I don't want to die. You don't want to die? Oh, you guys, he doesn't trust the science museum. You guys, show him it's okay. Everybody breathe in and out fast. All right, we're good. Good, excellent. Like, that guy's not keeling over. <laughs> so we totally got oxygen in this room. Right, now the third thing we need is fuel. All right, you got to have something to burn. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go with the first thing I heard, and that was paper. So do you have any, does anybody? Oh, here, I got it. Don't worry. I've got this $20 bill made out of paper. Should I burn this? Nah. <laughs> oh, come on. We're the Science Museum. Our motto is live for today. <laughs> okay, so we are going to burn this $20 bill, or rather, you are going to burn this $20 bill. Well, you'll help. We'll do it as a team. Excellent. So what I'm going to ask you to do is go ahead and take a hold of this tongs for me. There you go. Excellent. And lift it up high so everybody can see. I'm gonna go ahead and set this $20 bill on fire. Up, up, up. You couldn't find a $1 bill. Oh, we are, we're a National Science Museum. All right, here we go. All right, goodbye, Andrew Jackson. What? Stefan, <laughs> you had one job. Okay. Out. You're absolutely right, right? We don't really want to burn our fire up because, of course, we are a not-for-profit. So, um, you notice there was a trick, and what I did was I actually soaked this in something, and what I soaked this in is a combination of alcohol and water. Now, water, as you probably know, doesn't actually burn very well, but alcohol makes a really good fuel. And alcohol has what we call a high vapor pressure, and what that means is that if my arm were the $20 bill, the alcohol is kind of hanging out like a gas or a vapor, and then the water is in between acting as insulation. The trick here is that it's actually the alcohol that is acting as the fuel, not the paper, and once all of that fuel burns off, then the fire goes out. Well done. That was still in flames when you put your hand on it. Are you okay? Excellent. Good. Sorry, Vikings fans. I just ruined everything. But well done. Give them a round of applause. We burned our $20 bill. Now, again, for those of you just coming, do not try this at home, right? This is a very specific concentration of alcohol and water. If you get it wrong, even by a couple of milliliters, your money will burn up. So if you must try it, like uh, Stefan said earlier, start with single dollar bills. 